first speaker today uh, is living the American dream, um, immigrated into this country from another country, from Turkey, believe it or not, um, in 1979, and purchased a business only seven years later, tried to figure out whether he wanted to buy a restaurant, a gas station. Ultimately, he decided against both of those and chose a dry cleaning business. So without further ado, I think I've given it away now. Um, our, our dry cleaner, please welcome Burke Sarah, please. Nervous, you see that? <laughs> but I'll be okay. I'll do it. Just like a Ron being naked. Oh. <laughs> I'll be more nervous. <laughs> you should be nervous. Yes. That's <laughs> you know, uh, yes, I am uh, doing a dry cleaning. But if you see uh, in this business, unfortunately, it's it's not a resp uh, respectable business. I mean. I, uh, I say that because uh, all the people in this business, unfortunately, they are uneducated, unskilled, and uh, unexperienced people. I mean, they don't even uh, speak English or understand English just like me. <laughs> <laughs> but I, am, I can say that I am different than the other people the other dry cleaner. Uh, first of all, I can read and understand much better than speaking, because I don't have the practice, I mean, to, uh, speaking, I believe. Uh, the main reason, I didn't have any girlfriend here. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a girlfriend or boyfriend, <laughs> you can speak much easily. Anyway. And, uh, I, in my time, when I bought this business, in my time, uh, to, to get the license, you have to get the license, it was meant, as I said, you have to go to school, uh, get the classes, eight months long classes, and after the classes, you, you have to give a written test, and the, uh, physical, how you say, physical or active test. Uh, they, they would give you uh, samples, uh, small piece of uh, material, and with the stains on it, all kind of ink stains, coffee stains, blood stains, and you have to, in a certain uh, period, you have to take that stains out. So it, it wasn't easy becoming a dry cleaner. But as I said, these days, after I, I got that license, it was in 1986. After a couple of years later, state canceled this program because it was quite expensive program. And now these days, everybody is becoming a dry cleaner. Even they, they don't know the name of the chemicals. For example, if you take one Washable item and uh, read the label. Most of the time says, "Do not bleach." For uh, if you say bleach, first thing come in mind Clorox. Very common bleach. But there are at least five, six different bleaches, and I use bleaches most of the time. I mean, uh, for example, for uh, the. Sulfat, uh, it was uh, per perborate, for example. This is a very mild bleach, and uh, we can use almost on any material and most of the dyes. And there is sulf sulfat uh, bisulfide, sodium bisulfide. This bleach even you can use on seals. But of course, uh, this is uh, 
for, for professional use, I mean, you can find on the market, I'm sure. And even for, for most of us, rust stain looks like a difficult stain. But for me, it's not that difficult because if you apply uh, it's a, some kind of mild acid, uh, hy hydrochloride uh, acid, they call it. <coughs> yeah, hydrochloride acid is a made of a mild acid. It's a safe for, for the materials, on, all of the materials almost, and dissolves the rust easily. And uh, let me see, what should I say? <laughs> Is, okay, and even there is uh, some kind of living uh, substance, they call it enzymes. So th these are uh, living substance that if you apply to those things, uh, most of the time, uh, bl most of the time on uh, blood and human discharge and on some foods, this substance <coughs> kind of it dissolves the stains and quite safe on even on silks and most of the uh, fabrics. And I wonder how many cleaners even know about this, this kind of uh, chemicals or uh, agents. Uh, and uh, in, actually, as I said, you have to be kind of chemist, uh, you have to know about the chemistry. In, in old times, we learned this in the school, I mean, in 30s and early 40s, actually spotting was different profession. And these people, they have all licensed, uh, very educated people. Uh, they they had their suitcases all full of chemicals, and they would go cleaner to cleaner just to do the spotting. So really need, uh, in this business, it's, it's really need to be educated about the stains and chemicals. So that, that way you can win. I mean, uh, I'm sure you have very bad experience with the cleaners because as I said, they don't know, even they don't know the uh, chemical, they don't know how to apply, when, which chemical to apply, what kind of uh, material. So, uh, I, I have to tell you something else, uh, some, give some idea. You know, if you spill something on a especially dry clean only material, don't try to get it out at home. I mean, uh, sometimes you think, uh, oh, w water, water is not that, uh, uh, I mean, water is a simple water. I mean, it shouldn't do anything on the material. But uh, unfortunately, even though you, you, you wouldn't uh, ruin the, uh, the color or something. It leaves another stain on the, around, the, around the stain. So it gets harder to us to the dry cleaner to, to get the, we have to try to get the main stain and plus the water stain. So it's better not to touch. And don't worry, even uh, every stain if you stay on the material uh, more than a week, uh, at most 10 days, it won't set, set in. I mean, uh, sometimes you get nervous. Oh, I have to do it right away to, this, to take, take the spots off. But don't worry. I mean, you have uh, one week or 10 days. So as I said, I really know this business, even though, as I said, my uh, English is not that good, but uh, my knowledge in this business 
I believe is a perfect. I am the last generation of licensed, licensed uh, dry cleaner, and I am proud of it. And uh, you can trust me. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, I hardly ruin something. Uh, and plus, uh, this is a family business. I mean, I don't have uh, spotter and managers. You know, if you go to cleaners, I mean, uh, you see uh, un underpaid people I'm at the front of the counter or something. But every time if you come in our store, probably I'm here. I mean, 90%, 99% I am here. I mean, all day. So you can talk to me. And one more thing, uh, please avoid going to the multiple uh, company that has multiple stores. Because uh, nobody can be there any time on uh, uh, multiple stores. So probably they put uh, somebody that even doesn't know anything about the dry cleaning. So anyway, I guess my time is over. <laughs> any questions? And thank you, thank you for, for your support. OK, sure. Cooking and I get grease on me on a dark washable fabric. Yes. What do I put on it to get off? Okay, uh, cooking oil or any kind of oil, it's not water soluble, first of all. So it's better dry clean because dry cleaning solvent takes the, uh, the grease out or oil out. But if, if you don't want to take the cleaner, <laughs> I shouldn't tell you this one, but yeah. Uh, sometimes, or most of the times, uh, dishwasher, dishwasher liquid might help. It, take, it might take the oil out. Another question. Sure. Do you do alterations as yes. well on like buttons and replacements? We saw buttons even uh, with no charge, with the dry cleaning uh, yeah, order oh. page. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, my, yeah my all kinds of alteration uh, <coughs> and, of course, uh, waiting down and any kind of... Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.